Yeah, what's going on everybody? South Park King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. We went to the semifinals, man. Dom City and Lob City both advanced, but Lob City is going up against Portland. Me, myself, I'm going up against the toughest obstacle I can ever go up against in my NBA career. I'm going up against the big three. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. Oh, man, I hope these guys don't rip me a new one, man. Let's see what Dom City can do against Dade County, right? Let's get this popping. It's game one. Let's go, y'all. The next stage of the Eastern Conference playoff battle begins here. Game one of the conference semifinal. Both these teams have survived and moved one step closer to the title. With Steve Kerr and Clark Miller, this is Kevin Hart. Conference semifinals, the playoff atmosphere intensifies as State Farm shows us the starting five. First for the 76ers. They've got Trevor Booker. They utilize his abilities to maintain that presence under the rim. Then it's Paul George, and it's he in at the four slot. And for Miami, Chalmers and Wade are the one and the two. We've got Haslam. He's a big part of that presence down low. And it's LeBron James. And it's Bosh in at the four spot. Guys, win after win. They have been utterly dominant in the postseason. One sweep after another. And they're aware that this game will set the tone. Year. Check out a few of these stats real quick. I'm averaging 50 points, 14 assists in the uh, postseason. Doing pretty good in the playoffs. Let's see what I can do against these guys. Now, I came up with a nice little plan. Uh, my plan was to hit every cutter I could. Um, basically what I'm going to do is every person that cuts, I'm going to give them the opportunity to score. I'm not going to be selfish, but check out Kmart with the steal and hit me on the outlet. Check out this replay real quick, you know. Check out Kmart giving me a dime, you know. We not in Dime City, but it's all good, you know. <laughs> we in Dime City in spirit, but check me out using a little bit of my uh, superior post moves against Chambers. I, you know, I was trying to mix it up this match, man. You know, you can never do, you know, too much, so. You know, um, for, from the beginning of the game, um, they were switching me off of certain people. Um, Haslam would stick me. D-Wade would stick me. LeBron would stick me. But it seemed like, oh, hold up. Stop the calm. Yo, did you just let Bosh put your his balls in your face, though, Sione? What's up with you? You got to guard that, baby. <laughs> Can't let that man just, oh, now, now you got D-Wade snapping out. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but um, my plan was, you know, get out on a break and do stuff like this. <laughs> a nice little MJ dunk real quick. You know, that's not in the package, but, you know, why not do a quick jump, man? <laughs> now, check out uh, the heat on a nice rebound. You know what I'm going to do. I'm playing the cookie route. I'm still in cookies. I'm taking the, the Oreos, Chips Ahoy. I'm taking everybody's cookies. And, you know, I'm going in for the nice dunks. You know, check out the elevation of two feet, by the way. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. Now, um, another thing that I was trying to do was, of course, you know, set up people on the pick and pops. Now, I don't know what Paul George was doing right there, but, you know, I wanted him to pop. So I decided to give him a, a shot of his own. But check out what I do. I go in my own self like Superman and springboard for the putback. Goodness gracious. That thing looked crazy when a point guard does that himself. But check me out. I got the defense lean and, you know, got him, you know, hopping up off they toes. Now, I don't know what Ogowskis was doing, but that should have been the three seconds. But you already know we out on the break. Now, check out. You know who I see. Dime City. Go get it. That's all I ask. Just go get it. When I throw it, I just want you to go get it. I don't want you to hesitate. I don't want you to cut up to the three-point line. I want you to go get it. Now, we playing stellar defense, you know. LeBron, he should have made that, but you already know what it is. Chambers went in for the rebound, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to elevate myself. Yeah, I made my own replay, by the way. <laughs> you know, sometimes they be cheating me out of my slam cans, but you know, I, I, I dug in the cookie gar, jar once again. I'm sorry. And you know I'm already going back to Williams. You already knew what it was, man. As long as I got Williams on a break, to tell you the truth, he be doing better than Paul Jura sometimes, yo. Like, I'm just keeping it a bean. Like, he really just go get it anytime I ask. Now, you know, you see me cheating the uh, passing lanes. And guess what I do? I dip right back in the cookie jar, man. So, I'm going in for the dunk. I go in for the flare of all flares. Nice tomahawk. You know, stretching my body out. You know, <laughs> stretching in midair. 
Now, D-Way, he should have hit that one. But you all know what it is, man. He's not a three-point shooter per se. So, you know what I do. I come in and go get it. Just go get I just want you guys to go get it. That's all I ask. I got George. I got Williams. I got runners, man. Everybody that's on the break, we going in for lives, man. It's HP at the half. Round two of the playoffs is getting started. Let's catch up to the action. The 76ers off to a good start. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. They've felt the impact of Trevor Booker. After two, he's got 10 points. Been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well. Gotten the job done on the glass too. And midway through, the Heat are still alive. Seems a little like they're sleepwalking out there. Not a lot of energy, getting outworked and out hustled. A difficult first half for Dwayne Wade. His shot isn't falling. He's been ice cold. Already some highlights from these two on the night. They're both leading their teams in scoring. And that's it for now. Let's head on back out to the third quarter. Enjoy the rest of the game. That was a tight first half. And I know it's going to be a tight second half, but you know how I got started out. I got to start it out with nice cuts. He goes in for the layup. No call. You know, the rest of the don't want to give us anything in Miami. So you already know what it is. But I'm going back to the post. I'm going to do what I do. I got Chambers on my back, so you know what I had to do, man. I had to hit him with a nice up fake. That move is just killer in the post, man. Oh, goodness gracious. Did you see the look? Oh, no. I didn't just do that. I hit him with the LeBron dribble, the two-hand fly, and the foul. And I'm going to the line for one. Oh, and I'm getting hype. And I got my emotion up. <laughs> All right, let me let me get myself to the line real quick for these uh, five-second free throws. You know, KD shot. You know, a lot of people keep asking me what free throw I got. I got that KD, man. I got that swag behind it. Uh-oh. Oh, almost hit that ball with the D-Wade. Oh, check out Yee with the nice stand-up dunk. Yee didn't even take a step. Uh-oh, Miller, I already know what that is. Oh, he missed, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm out on a break. Catch me if you can, sucker. Oh, hit him with the uh-uh. Hit him with the uh-uh. That, that boy flew. He swore I was going in for the layup, man. That's how aggressive the defense is, but check out D-Wade getting the elevator effect on the rim. I just had to show that play, man. He was using him. And now, let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris? Well, Kevin, for that great stretch the Heat just put together, they get the Sprite Spark Award. Things started opening up for them in the third quarter as they exerted their will onto this game, and they are in complete control as the game now heads into the fourth and final period, guys. All right, Doris, thank you. That run has made a difference, guys. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what got them off and going. Okay, that last three-pointer in that replay, that was a fluke. I promise you I was playing defense, but check me out going inside, you know, giving these guys all these crazy up fakes. Um, Udonis Haslam, that's his fifth personal. I've been going in like a madman, trying to bring my team back. Man, it's it's really hard to beat the Heat. I'm not even going to lie, yo. It's really, really hard. Like I got to put up stupid, crazy, unrealistic numbers just to win the game. But, you know, check out Wade on offense. You barely can see him on the screen as I'm playing on this 2K camera view. But uh, D-Wade takes the shot. So, you know what I'm doing. I'm breaking. And I fell, but, you know, we somehow get the rebound. So, I'm going to break again. Going in for the cherry pick. I got to do everything I can to get my team back in the game. So, if I got a cherry pick, I'm cherry picking, man. I need to win these games. But check out Bosch with the total fail in the post. Getting hit with a major bump animation. And not going for the jump man dunk. Now, with that jump man dunk, man, I love it, but sometimes it takes priority over other dunks. But check me out going in, hit me with the uh-uh, you know, nice hop step layup. But check me out. I'm trying to use Chambers all game, but check me going in for the layup. I don't even know how I made that bump animation and all, no call, but it's all good. Check out Bosch with the nice, oh! Yeah, that, that, that did happen. LeBron just windmilled a put-back dunk. Yes, that happened. That's the highlight of this whole entire video. That My, my put-back doesn't even compare to that. But check out D-Wade failing on a nice layup. So I'm out on a break. Trying to bring my team back. So guess what I do? I go in for the tomahawk jam. You know, I take about four or five steps without even dribbling. But it's all love. Uh, we got about a minute and a half left. We're up one. You know what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to burn out the clock as much as I can. I'm trying to play it smart, guys. 
Um, if I can hold this lead, that means I can win this game. So I'm going back to the basics. Nice cut, Booker. He didn't want to do too much. He didn't want to dunk it. He just went in for the nice layup. And that's what I like. Now, D-Wade, I don't know what he just did there. That was a floozy type of layup, but I'm going in for the dunk. That's all that matters to me, man. We're up. Yeah, another replay by me. <laughs> Slam Cam doesn't love me. <laughs> now, I'm slowing it up, you know, nice and easy. We're up three. I'm chilling. We got time on the clock. We got time to burn. As you can see on the floor, I called a nice isolation play. So this is all about me right now, man. I got to act like who I am. I'm the captain of this team. So I'm going in for the layup. I get fouled by Mario Chambers. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey. Goodbye. You got to go. I'm sorry. I don't feel like singing. He got to just go sit on the bench because, you know, he, he was a, a main factor in the game. You know, he hit a few uh, shots on me. But right now, it's all about these clutch free throws, man. Can I hit them? That's all that matter. I'm me right now, right about now when I was playing this game, I was wiping my hands on the floor cuz my palms were sweating. Like literally sweating. Like I was so paranoid. I was noinked. I was hype. I was oh man. It, it, it I felt like I had a fever, yo. When I was playing this game, I was like, yo, I got to win this game. <laughs> the fans going to hate me if I lose my first game, but it looks like we're about to pull it out. But, you know, the game isn't over, man. 20 seconds is a long time, especially with that timeout they took. But uh, as you can see right here, my man Kmart still playing stellar defense. Now, you know, I get fouled again. I get fouled by some big guy, number 45. Uh, D. Pittman, he must be a rookie or something. I don't know what he is. He has his own picture, though, so he might not be a rookie. So um, I hit the first free throw, you know, five-second free throws. We in here. What up? Um, now, they getting him out of here, bringing Dan Pierre. And the one thing about the Miami Heat, they have a team. Like, they have, like, four centers, yo. Like, it's it's, it's crazy. They got Ogowskis, Pittman, Dan Pierre, Haslam. They got a lot of people, yo. But, you know me, I try to get a, a crazy pass off at the end. But we won game one, man. We won it in Miami. We did our thing. We brung Dom City to them. I don't even know how many assists I have right now. I can't call it. All I know is we got the W. Paul George is hype. Uh, Evan Turner is getting it in. Uh, who, who who else? Anybody mad on the Heat team right now? Hold on. Who that, who that snapping? I think that was Dan Pierre over there holding his head. But it is what it is, man. 3,800 skill points. That was a great game. I wish it was would have been a key game, man, because... I think anytime you play the Heat, man, even in the playoffs, it should be a key game. This team is crazy. Like, I had to battle all game long. But you already know what it is, man. Let's get into the player of the game. All right, I'm back. Um, let's look at some team stats. Um, I kind of messed up. I'm not going to tell y'all what I did, but as you can see, I usually bring the player stats and all of that. Yeah, um, stupid me forgot to, you know, go to those. So, you know, you already know what it is. Let's get to the press conference. You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to game two? Uh, first things first, we going to the club. We in Miami, baby. I want each and every one of the guys on this team to take that feeling we got when the final buzzer sounded and remember it. We got to keep striving for that and only that every game for the rest of this series. Tasting victory once is good, but we got to stay hungry. I ain't satisfied with just the first W, and I don't think any of the rest of my teammates are either. Yeah, we gonna uh, we gonna take a hundred shots in the gym, and I'm gonna uh, take a hundred shots at the club. Yeah, huh? <laughs> 